Hello, my name's Robert Adams. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can make some wonderful Art Deco cards like this using our template and our wonderful All Occasion Dies Art Deco die set. And we've got our lovely Art Deco Ladies set as well. So it all comes together to make these lovely cards. But it starts, it begins, the journey begins here with this template. And on this tutorial, what I want to do is show you some basic hints and tips and guidelines to how to get the best out of it so that you too can make some absolutely beautiful cards. So we have our template here and our card 250 GSM printed on one side or it could be double sided if you want to. Because I've got a darker pattern here I'm going to flip over to this side and pop my template on the back there like so. So line it up with the edges of the card there and with the base and then you can just hold it in with a little bit of tape um, or just hold it down. I find a little bit of tape will just keep it into position like so. I've used some masking tape here so it shows up on the camera but I would actually use a non-stick tape because you don't want to ruin the surface. That said it's the back of the card and that's what we're doing here. We're working on the back of the card. So the next thing to do now is just to simply hold that down and draw around the edge of the template here. This is our guideline for cutting, so we just work our way along like so. And then we have the guidelines here. And so for these edges, what I recommend that we do is work on the outer edge like so, and it lines up, if you see with that line there and here, down to there, and we'll repeat the same on the other side. And with this one, you can either go to the top or the bottom. I want that as wide as possible. So I'm going to run my pencil along the top line there, and so do the same there. At this point, we're ignoring these lines here. That's for something else, and we're ignoring the center part. And so we'll just repeat that process for the other side. So line up on the outer edge and then on the top of those two there. And there we go. So what we've got to do now is just remove this. Carefully pull your tape away and just check we've got everything there and we have. Now that we've drawn this out, the next stage is to cut it out and create the score lines, the mountain and the valley folds as well. With the template came the instruction sheet and this is the guide for showing you how we cut and fold. Now what I strongly suggest you do is draw the cut lines in red because I'm going to confess now making this, this is my, this is take two. Okay, take one, look, I put a cut where I shouldn't have done. Now I've made loads of these and I should know better. So I'm going to show you, I think when you're starting off, it's not a bad idea just to draw in with a red pen the cut lines and that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to come down here, on there, my red biro. This won't show up because this, remember, is the back of the card. But it, what it will do is just remind me where I'm going to cut. So you can either do all of it or just the parts that will remind you. But while you're starting off, I can honestly say it's really frustrating to cut where you shouldn't. Now, there are ways you could fix that by putting a little bit of tape on the back. But it is better not to make the mistake. And it was that line there that I've just cut and I shouldn't have done. So I'm going to come down to here and pick up. You'll notice the pencil lines, it don't quite line up. So from that point, I'll go down to here. And I'll show you that because it just depends on where you've got your pencil on the template. You see we were slightly out there. But this red now acts as my cutting guide. The other lines, those are our mountain and valley fold. So a valley fold here, it's green, mountain fold blue. Valley. That just means basically, if you think of it like this, a valley fold goes downwards like that and a mountain fold goes like so. The template is actually marked out, and I don't know if you can see it, there's a little F engraved just to show you that those are the fold lines. And that's all that we need to do. So the next stage now with a craft knife is just to cut 
here. What I am going to do, and I recommend again, it's good working practice, is just with these lines, I'm just going to carry those ones on there so I don't cut beyond. If you have a look there, it's a little bit tardy. And that just reminds you as a stopping point when you're cutting where to go. So these are little points, but you know, I do find it helps. So what I'm going to do now is just pop in my cut lines here like so. And I can clearly see where to stop there because that's going to be a fold line. So I'll go on now and cut the rest of this out and then we'll score it. I've got my guidelines here. Just remember if you don't cut those two there. Okay, I'll go on now and cut that out and score it and then we'll have a look at how it all folds together. My cut lines are now done and done correctly. So the next thing to do is just to score these lines here. Now, because they're mountain and valley folds, they fold different ways. But at this point, I'm just going to create a crease and a score line. Now I'm using the back of my uh, craft knife, my scalpel here. A ball tool is absolutely fine to use, but you, I like using the back of this because it gives me a really tight crease. So I might as well just do both at once, line up the ruler and just work my way down like so. It's nice and quick, but a good firm crease now, not too tight. And remember, sorry, not too hard, because we don't want to go through the card. This again is 250 GSM and quite strong. We want to create a nice crease because that makes the folding a little bit easier. Now it's not difficult to fold, you just have to take a little bit of time. Um, some days it goes better than others, I've got to say. So just to recap, a ball tool or something to score a line in there, I'm using the back, the non-cutting part of my blade there. Okay, now again we're going to refer back to here. So this is a green line, which means, and again don't be afraid just to type in, you might want to put um, V for valley in there, M for mountain, put V for valley back there. Remember this is the back of the card, you can always rub this out, most people will never see it. And while you're making the first one, maybe it's as well just to, to be a little bit more thorough. Um, also while I'm being thorough, let's put V for valley in there. Now with the folding, there's no real right or wrong wherever you want to start. I just begin by making sure first of all that I have actually cut everything out, that I'm not fighting with it. So a finger running through there, everything looks good. Those lines have come out there, and that's come out there. And I usually just start up the top here, and just begin to put a little bit of a line in there. Don't be afraid about the whole thing just sort of bending slightly at this point. What's going to happen is this is going to come over, so I just gently edge my way in there. You can put a ruler down if you want, but the whole thing's just beginning to move there. Then we've got our mountain fold here. Now that's going to go the other way, but we just want to get a line in there. So what's quite useful, so I've just, I've just started the creases off there. They've hardly gone at all. Now what I do is just pop a ruler onto here and bring my finger in here like so. And that begins to give me quite a nice crease there. And I'll just repeat that for this side here. So ruler against there and pop that in there. Now this is a mountain fold, so ultimately it's going to come towards me, but we've created the basic fold. And again, while I'm there, it's a valley fold, so this is coming over. Just pop my ruler on there and just do the same for here. So we're slowly teasing everything into shape. Now that one wants to come up, so at this point, I'm going to just squeeze it, pinch it, squeeze it and pinch it and we can see it all beginning to come forwards. And this is the part where I begin to really sort of tease it into shape. Now, in order to do that, we can see all of this lifting up. You can see there, so we can come back now, and again, just tease these with our fingers, just gently work those in, valley fold there. You'll feel that go over. Now you can pinch a little bit tighter, so everything's just about ready to go except for these two here. If you want to, you can just slot the ruler in. Notice this is taking a little bit of time. 
because we've got a few cutouts. It's quite a lovely shape, this Art Deco one. But it'll all suddenly start to come together. And I'm just using my ruler here to push that over. And do you know, we're at what I call the tipping point now, where that is ready to go. You can see all the folds are in there. They're all going nicely in the direction that we want to. I'm just going to pull that over like so. And flip this over because this becomes the front of the card. And at this point, you can see it's still fairly flexible. I can begin to gently push it down, but I'll begin to crease those lights there. And that comes down a little bit of pressure because I'm also letting it find where it wants to come. And there we go. That's our beautiful Art Deco card. If I just open that up, you can see now, it's like this stepping. I'll just show you there. It's like steps, how it all comes together. Now you'll notice that obviously this is a little bit large. Um, and there's two ways of doing this. And to be honest, we can use the template to work out where that comes. But I always like to let the card tell me where it wants me to cut it. So what I'm going to do is just line up my pencil beyond this edge here, just like so, and drop a line in there. Just open that up. We can come back and cut it to size, like so. The other method, if you wanted to, is if you notice on the template here, from that point, let's just, there we go, show you there, from that point there to that line there, will actually give us, if we flip it over, from there to there, the back of the card as well. But if you want to, if you're finding that that's quite big to manipulate and you want to cut it off first of all, um, feel free to do so. Just pop that in and that will give you the shape of the card. And you might find your folding without the extra bit a little bit easier. So if you're struggling, try it that way. Just see how it works best for you. Remember, that's the back of the card. See, so all our working out now is on the inside. And you just wouldn't see anything there. Now, if we have a lighter colour on the inside, again, your markings and little bits and pieces there won't show up. But you can find the more of these that you make, the easier it becomes. And obviously, um, you don't have to put everything in there. That said, I can't tell you how many cards I've made like this. And I still, I'm going to confess again, I still managed to cut it in the wrong place because I was just... You know, filming and chatting and not really concentrating. So I don't think it's a bad thing just to remind yourself where you're going. OK, so there we go. That's a wonderful way of making this card. Now, the other thing that I do at this stage is just, with my nails there, just pinch and create a nice deep crease so that this folds quite beautifully. I found of all of them, it's this middle one here that really wants to be a nice sharp crease fold line in there. 250 GSM cards, lovely. And that will just work for us there. And then we're ready to decorate. We can go ahead and, uh, and make our lovely cards. Now while I've got this one on here and I've done it wrong, can I actually show you something which uh, is another lovely technique. And what I did was I cut out that line and I shouldn't have done. So I'm just going to very quickly go like this. And uh, make sure that is all cut out now. And it is. And I'm just going to quickly by hand just pull that one out there. So I just want to show you another little technique you can work with the template here that we can use. So let me just neaten up my little bit there. Okay. Now you've probably noticed on some of the samples of the cards we've got some lovely backdrops as well. That creates our background there, and that's fantastic. If you want to add extra elements to it, if you cut out these parts of the card like so, it still hasn't disappeared. <laughs> um, I'm going to ignore that. Draw that out, and then just simply you can you can drop it down if you want to to create a, a slightly more staggered effect, or just come in a little bit and just cut in and create. A shape like so. So you could just 
work out perhaps a couple of millimetres each side, cut that out and then just draw it in. If I do this by hand, so we could just, I'm going to just do this by eye here like so, just to give you an idea of how we could do this. That. Remember I'd work on the reverse side like so, and then when you stick it down no one will, no one will see it. So we go like that. Um, in theory we should take a little bit off the top as well. And we just work our way along, and again using your ruler for time I'm just going to work by hand here. I'll just show you that we can come right the way across there. There. And the same here. So we, what we're going to do is basically mat and layer this. And it gives us a lovely shape. It's a bit of a longer line, so I'll probably use my, my steel wheel there. Now I've only done one part, but just to show you, and again, this could be coloured card, as I drop that in there, you get the sense of how we can create a mat and layer with different shapes. And of course, we go on and do the same for the other side then as well. Okay, so that's another method that you can use with this. Um, the next thing to say is that we can make different styles of cards as well. Now I've got this one here, but can I just show you this one here? So it's basically a regular card, but without all the folding going on. It's not a stepper card, it just opens and closes like a regular card there. I'd just like to quickly show you some cards. Again, we can see that we used that initial shape, but then just worked back into it. So if I just turn this card around, you can see now that's without the back part, um, but just adding slightly more to the front, and then just echoing the shapes to create these beautiful cards. And again, if I just show you... And with this one, we can see how we've offset the basic pattern. So we've used our stepper card, drawn it out, made up the card, and then just offset the basic Art Deco pattern inside. Give us that lovely matte and layering effect. And that's even more noticeable now. Now on this one, I'll just show you this technique. It's the same thing, but what we do is just drop it down. So if you don't want to cut and measure, you can simply use the existing shape and just drop it down a little bit each time to give you this offset but repeating Art Deco pattern as we go down. Well I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and it's inspired you to have a go yourself. It really is quite simple. Uh, the folding is the trickiest part when you're doing the stepper cart. Um, just getting those creases but in the right place and then just slowly working it all together. Um, and that is, and I'm not going to lie to you, that is a little bit tricky, but if you take your time, it all starts to magically come together. Just slowly work those creases. Don't be too impatient. And like everything, the more that you do, the easier that it becomes. But always refer back to the instructions that come with the template. Oh, watching the video, I think, is a great help, because you can see that I'm, I'm doing it as well, and I'm just taking my time, and then suddenly it all seems to come together, and you've got this wonderful card ready to embellish to taste. Uh, I love the Art Deco. I hope you enjoy this series as much as I do, because I really am quite fond of the Art Deco period. I love the design and the, and the sort of geometric patterns that were created with it as well. And I think for card making, it's an absolute gift. Anyway, enjoy yourself, enjoy your card making, and have fun. Take care. Bye-bye.